Oh man, the previous episode was so exhausting. I really hate mud. <laughs> okay, let's do something more productive. It looks as if you knew what you were doing. Nobody ain't complained yet, but that would be a bad idea anyway. Every idiot here needs a sword, and that is what they get from me. How long does it take you to make one blade? That depends. I'm as fast as a hurricane with simple swords. Of course, only on condition that the price motivates me. A freak like Whistler usually has to wait longer for his toy than other people. Why? Doesn't he pay enough? No, on the contrary. He gave me 150 ore for his last sword. The guy is into ornaments and girly stuff like that, and of course that's not cheap. Hey, you ain't curious at all, are you, pal? Well, Smith, how's business? Why would you want to know? I may have an order for you. Oh, really? And what? I'll think about it. Come back when you really need something, and don't get on my nerves. I'd like to try working here as well. Ah, but don't you think that you can make great blades? What do I have to do? Okay, take the steel and hold it into the fire. Then you have to lay the red-hot steel across the anvil. When you're finished, you put the hot blade into the water bucket over there to temper it. The cooled blade finally has to be sharpened on the grindstone. I see. However, you'll need some things for that. I could sell them to you. I'd like to buy some blacksmith equipment. Okay, so this is the first time that we are trading. So uh, to trade, we left click and uh, transfer things from his inventory. And we have to give him something for that. Now, buying uh, anything, uh, either hot steel or just steel or. We can turn that into blades, and blades are more expensive than that, so... This is uh, 64, this is 80, this is 40. Raw steel is definitely best. But all of them are okay. Because we can sell all of them for... Um, <clears throat> for 100. We already have... Uh, some swords that we made. Well, we stole, but we can make crude blades more of them so we can sell them those crude blades we can also sell them this rusty sword and i will leave just one pickaxe and we also want those arrows let's see what else we can get rid of hmm. can also give him RR. Get it back later on. Okay, so we cannot get all of them, so let's get the things that are more, most uh, well, least expensive, so we'll get rid of that. Well, this is a nice trade, but uh, let's see. 51, yeah, we'll get to that. Uh, how do we transfer one at a time? Or can we? I don't remember if we can. Oh man, I pressed right click. I'd like to. Did we get that? And that. And we'll come up with uh, that much money. Uh, let's give him some grilled meat. Even more. Some cheese. Where's the horror? Okay, we don't need two pens. Razors, I don't think we need plate. And we definitely want that raw steel. And now let's give him... So we have to match the price, or if we don't match the price... Um, we can give him more, but not less. So this is going to be more, I guess. So we can take, let's say, 
something from here, maybe this ten. Hmm. Maybe a plate. Oh man, I meshed it perfectly. And now we can uh, trade. So we press enter, I think. Yes. <laughs> it was a while since I did this. So we can either accept or refuse. So you match the price on the left with the price on the right. You can always give him more money, but you cannot give him less money. He won't accept it. So basically, if you give him more money, that's kind of like tipping. And I hope you understand how this works. If you have some questions, ask in the comments. Uh, I will be happy to answer any gothic questions, so let's accept this. And now let's make some blades. So we have uh, some hot blades that we got from him, so we'll turn those into blades. And we have to cool them down. And now we have to use the grindstone. Or we can use fire to heat up the raw steel. So we heat up the raw steel, then we uh, hammer it uh, on the anvil, then we cool it down. Uh, then we use uh, that uh, grinding stone to sharpen it up. And then we can uh, sell those screwed blades to him for some more raw steel. And that just keeps going forever if you want. This is kind of a cheat. Uh, not a cheat, but you can make as much money as you want this way. I know it's kind of grindy, but it's also uh, free or... So I'm going to use all the steel that we have and then be done with it. I won't keep buying that forever. If we need money, then I might do, but uh, I won't stockpile the swords. I used to do this a lot in my uh, <laughs> when I first played this game, when I figured out that I can do this kind of stuff. I probably did it for hours to buy things that I wanted to buy in this camp. To be, well, more powerful than I should be in the beginning. So just keep hammering, then we pull them down. I don't remember if we need to use uh, if we need to sharpen them or not. Maybe some part can be skipped. Okay. Let's see what we have. Weapons? No, we have to sharpen them, I guess. We have blades now. Yeah, until we sharpen them, they cannot be... Are you planning to attack? Smart ass. <laughs> there we go. That's one way to force them off the grindstone. Now the smith will regenerate some uh, raw steel after some time and if I'm not mistaken even the chest where we stole the raw steel might get replenished. Mm, let's actually speak to, speak to this guy, why not? What's life like here? If you've been sent by the ore barons, tell them I don't want no trouble. I'm not talking to anybody. I'm satisfied with what they give us. Nobody sent me. I only just got here. A new one, huh? Newcomers always get into trouble pretty quick. I don't want to get involved, okay? 
I want to know more about the camp. You should talk to the Shadows. They can tell you all you need to know. Be careful, though. You can't trust most of them. Who calls the shots around here? Here in the Outer Ring. Fletcher, Bloodwin, and Jackal collect the protection money. They run a district each. You get on the right side of them, you're okay. I want to join you. That won't happen. I can't understand why you'd want to volunteer to work in the mines. Guys like you are more likely to be living in the castle soon. People always talk. As long as I'm not involved. Oh yeah, the game crashed. That's kind of a reoccurring theme when I save and load the game, but at least my save games don't get corrupted. Let's check this box again. Okay. I think it might get replenished after some time. Uh, let's see what we have. We have a ridiculous amount of crude swords. I think we have somewhere around 30. So, let's... I'd like to buy some. Let's see. So we can uh, buy this back. We can even buy all the things that we sold them. Uh, we can buy more raw steel. I won't buy blades. But I will buy this. I won't uh, do it right away. I mean, craft more of that. Because we have enough for now, I think. And we just match the price. Okay, we definitely don't need this stuff. Why would I want to buy that again? Why is this? Wait, what? Oh, I had the... Uh, how many? Okay, five. Hmm. Well, we'll... 600. I really thought I gave, he gave him 200 or... Well, I guess I didn't. Okay. I will tip him uh, 5 or So let's accept this. And now we have... Uh, well, we have some amount of uh, crude swords that we can trade for for ore with other traders, and we have 170 ore, which is pretty good actually. And let's make a save game. Now I will probably well we can craft uh, the ones that uh, we just bought and we'll keep that, but I won't be crafting anymore. I mean buying after that. And we'll find more traders, and uh, the, the point is to trade this stuff for ore, because ore is more valuable. We can use, use it for, um, well, to buy some things. And for... Come on. Are you planning to attack? The right decision. As long as I'm not... Anyways, you need money, come to this guy. Okay, we need to do this. And you'll be rich after sometimes. Uh, and uh, there are actually uh, more places where you can craft in other camps. So if this guy doesn't have enough raw steel, you can buy it in other camps. Hey you! Why does that Keep. Happen? I think we went into these houses. I wanted to sleep. Hey you! Hopefully, I won't get into trouble for getting into this hut. Get out of here! A new day, and nothing has changed. 
Uh, that's kind of a way that you can treat uh, hey, hey, and enter you. some houses that you shouldn't have. Like, let's say this one. Let me pass. Okay. So I will definitely get into trouble if I go into this house. But let's say I do this. And kind of cheaty way of... Uh, so... Hey, you! I go to his bed. And I sleep to the next morning. They will get reset. Hey, you! Hello, day! And nothing... Get out of here! So sometimes hey, you, you, you can reset them by sleeping. And then you can enter their house and loot the chest. But in general, uh, you have to figure out where they are not near the house. You can sleep to midnight uh, and so on. And figure out when you should be there. Let's talk about something else instead. I wouldn't like to be in his shoes. Probably cannot enter this house. Hey you! Hey you! We can beat them up if uh, we pay protection money, which I might do. <laughs> we have to get stuff with... Well, any way you can. I loot everything that's not nailed down. <laughs> Let's do uh, right, left, right, right, left, left. No. Okay, so it's probably right. Uh, uh, my my brain is. <laughs> okay, so right, right, left. No, it's three times right. Right, 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 left. Oh, it's four times right. Uh, the combinations are kind of uh, repeating, so if uh, they are not random, and uh, most of the chests have uh, similar combinations, so yeah. I think we missed... that's more drag, uh, the guy that Taurus sent, sent us to, well, attack. <laughs> well, not directly attack, but yeah. So I wanted to speak to one other guy here that's also a trader and also to these guys that are near the arena. I think this is the guy or... no? Let's see. Can this guy trade? I don't think so. Yeah. Okay, he can train us, but he cannot trade. I think I'm looking for this guy near the arena. Yeah, he should be standing here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's sitting down. Let's speak to him. What's your job here? I'm in charge of the arena. I organize the bets, hire new fighters, you know. I want to join the camp. Can you help me? I might be able to, if you manage to impress me. Some of the best fighters from all three camps come here to compete against each other. Challenge one of them to a fight. I'll watch you, and if you're good, maybe I'll think about it. I thought the old camp and the new camp didn't get on. So why do you let their people fight here? It's simple. There's fights here once a week, and the diggers always like to see one of the rogues from the new camp get flattened. If one of them fights, there's more bets, and that's good for business. Personally, I can't stand the swines from the new camp, but business is business. I want to place a bet. But there's no fight on. The next fight's due in a couple of days. There'll be an announcement. Do you train fighters at all? 
Yeah, but not just for fun. If you want me to train you, you'll have to pay for it. I want to improve my hand. Come back as... But... Do you... Yeah. Okay, so I definitely want to train one-handers in the beginning. Uh, well, we'll, we'll be able to use magic, two-handers, bows, but to actually win in this arena, we'll have to train at least once. And uh, we need 10 skill points, so we cannot do it right away. We have to level up first. And to do so, uh, yeah, we need more experience. And we'll get that by simply talking to people and finishing quests. So let's speak to these guys here. I'm new here. Who are you? I'm Kareem. You must have just been booted in here, or else you'd have heard of me. I'm the best fighter this damned camp has ever seen. Hi, I'm new here. You don't say. Tell me about the outside world. It's been over a month since I heard anything from outside. I'm Kurgo. I fight in the arena. Are you good? At fighting? I haven't been doing it for long. But I've already won a fight. What are you doing here? Me? I'm fighting for the glory of the sleeper. You fight in the arena? I was sent here from the swamp by my masters to fight for the sleeper. I'll fight here for his higher glory, so all infidels can see how strong his power has made me. What is the sleeper? You will find priests who will be able to answer that question better than I can in our camp. I'll just tell you this much. The sleeper is our redeemer. He has led us to this place and he'll get us out of here. You mean you're waiting for your god to liberate you? Yes, and the wait will soon be over. A great invocation is currently being prepared. Could you describe the way to your camp? There are always some novices around here in the old camp, willing to accompany newcomers like you to our camp. You only need to speak to them. Could you... There are always... What kind of invocation is it you're planning? Our prophets say that the common invocation of the sleeper is the key to freedom. If you want to find out more about it, just come to our camp. You fight it. I was sent here. I'll f So we'll challenge them a bit later on once we leveled up. Did we go in here? I guess we didn't. Okay, that didn't work. So let's go left, left, right, right. That's from a first try. I'm getting better at guessing. <laughs> can we go here? I guess we can. Right, left, right, right, left, left. No, right, right, left, right. Hey, you! You got no business in there! Beat it! So this is the arena where they fight. I don't remember if there's something to be looted here. I really doubt it. So we want to level up, get better weapon, then we'll fight in the arena. So I want to go into this direction and make a full circle. That's why I went back to first speak to those guys, then we'll simply continue this way. 
until we finished everything. Speaking to all the NPCs. Did we load this? I think we did. Or there wasn't anything in it to begin with. Some people never learn. Okay, guys, uh, this is all for this episode. We'll speak to more drag in uh, the next one. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and see you in the next one. You have to watch what you tell people.